assalamu alaikum everyone today we will start numerical 2.8 kinematics unit number 2 class 9th let's see the numerical statement of this problem a cricket ball is hit vertically upward and returns to the ground 6 seconds later calculate the maximum height reached by the ball and the initial velocity of the ball well let's see the scenario the ball is hit vertically upward it reached a maximum height and return back to its initial position. To solve this problem and find the maximum height and the initial velocity, first we have to find the time that ball took to reach the maximum height. As the ball reached at the top and then come back to its initial position within 6 seconds. So, Dividing by 2, we can get the time of one side journey of the ball. So it is equals to 3 seconds. Which means that the ball took 3 seconds to reach the maximum height and then again took 3 seconds to come back to its initial position. As ball is moving upward, so it is moving against the, the field of gravity. So the gravitational acceleration in that case is equal to negative 10 meter per second square and the time that ball took to reach the maximum height is 3 seconds. Another important thing that we have to know is that the ball have some initial velocity but when it reach to the maximum height it stops here. It it at rest position so when the ball is at rest it has its final velocity equals to 0 meter per second so our final velocity is 0 meter per second now we know the final velocity because the ball is at rest when it is the maximum point is 0 meter per second and we know the time and we know the gravitational acceleration we can use first equation of motion Vf is equals to Vi plus At because the problem is in the upward and the downward direction because the object is moving against the field of gravity so we can replace this acceleration A with the gravitational acceleration G to calculate the initial velocity we have to put the values here as we know the final velocity is 0 meters per second the initial velocity is unknown plus negative 10 meters per second square into 3 seconds the time that ball took to reach the maximum height now performing some mathematical calculations the initial velocity is equals to 30 meter per second the ball was moving upward with the initial velocity vi 30 meter per second and reached to the maximum height where it rests and its velocity is final velocity is 0 meters per second now to calculate the distance this vertical distance uh, we can use Second equation of motion, S is equals to VIT plus half GT square. But here we replace S with H. And we can also use third equation of motion, 2GH is equals to VF square minus VI square. Both equations can be used to solve this problem. Let's choose third equation of motion. So 2 minus 10 meters per second square into h is equals to 0 meter per second square minus thirty meter per second square. 0 meter square per second square minus 900 meters
meters square per second square negative 20 meters per second square into h negative 100 meters square per second square divided by negative 20 meters per second square h is equals to 45 meter the maximum height that ball attain in 3 second is 45 meter and the initial velocity with which the ball is hit vertically upward is 30 meters per second so that, that's all about this numerical if you understand this problem share my video like my video and subscribe my channel thank you very much